Welcome back everyone. We're actually working inside today. It was pretty rainy this morning, so we thought we would work inside. The tiles that we ordered for the kitchen arrived a few days ago. And now that we're kind of committed to it, it's actually not that bad outside anymore. But we went into town, got all the supplies we needed. So we're going to get this backsplash up. We're not really going to have a kitchen for a few days. So we've just been getting everything tidied up and moved out of the way. We're going to pull the stove out. We're getting some paper lined up along the bottom so we don't get anything on the counter. And we're going to start putting in some tiles. I'm really excited for this because we've been waiting for a little while for these tiles to get here and they finally arrived. So you ready? Yeah. Camera makes the kitchen look so orange. How dirty is it? Oh, there's no lights. Yeah, that's not too bad. Give me a tile. Mm -hmm. um, you know what you're doing, Katie? I have done backsplash once, but I don't know if it was any good. <laughs> I don't know anything. So uh, let's see what we can do. Here we go, Katie. It's on the wall, like this. Huh? <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I've already scratched through the paper. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous about this. <laughs> It doesn't matter. As long as everything's level, that's all that matters. You got this. Thank you, Katie. I don't feel like I have this right now, but I like your encouragement. Ooh. No. <laughs> that glue's gonna come off. What glue? <laughs> that glue is gonna come off. celebration I know you feel it you know you see it I know you hear it oh man am I ever nervous how do you like it so far I don't know <laughs> Does that look okay? <laughs> <laughs> Stress is happening here now. <laughs>
popped up. What a piece of junk this is. Is this supposed to be hooked under? No, that's the thing. It just sticks there. You think that it was supposed to be hooked, hooked, hooked under? But it doesn't. All right, we're all done with the tile. I'm not so sure about it, but maybe that'll change once we have the grout installed or once we have the grout added. We, um, we went with Sahara Beige, which is kind of like a brown with kind of grayish tones to it. It seemed like it would kind of tie it all together, but I don't know, I'm a little bit unsure. So we might go to the store and pick out a different color before we put this on tomorrow but it's really hard to choose colors and I'm so thrown off the camera does make the cabinets look a lot more orange than they are so I'm really struggling because I really like this tone of the wood not so much that so it's really hard to tie the colors in I do wish we had gone with a different color for the cabinets but we were kind of looking for cheaper wood ones that weren't like Ikea because I really didn't like Ikea. So what we got, so I'm trying to make it work. And I think this happens to most people. Once you get the tiles in, it's not quite finished. You're halfway through the job. You don't really like it, but once it's done, it all kind of ties together. So we shall see tomorrow.
Well, it's been 24 hours and we're gonna get started with the grout. We chose a color that's kind of like a grayish brown, so I'm hoping it works with that. We're not really loving the tile, so we're hoping that this grout will kind of warm it up a little bit, but we should have went with the like warmer color of this tile, but we didn't. And it's up on the wall now, so we just gotta work with it and fingers crossed this looks okay. Cause I feel like I'm terrible at picking colors for this permanent stuff. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, me too. This is really scary for real. <laughs> I don't know, but I like any of this. <laughs> like Since we're getting close to finishing the kitchen, we really only have two tasks left to do to finish it off. We're just gonna keep going today and get it done. The grout is all dried, but now we want to put a floating shelf uh, to the left of the sink, kind of over where the bar seating is. So we're gonna get the wood cut up for that and processed down, and then I think I'm gonna stain it and we'll get that installed today once it's had a chance to dry. And then the other thing we need to do is put the toe kick in, which has been sitting on the top of the cupboards for ever since we brought the kitchen stuff home. So I'm really looking forward to getting that down. I'll be able to give it a good clean up there because I'm sure it's really dusty after this winter. So it'd be good to get that cleaned up and get that kind of clutter away from the top of the kitchen. And uh, then we'll actually be done the kitchen. Except for trim. I forgot about trim, but that's a different project. So we won't count it in the kitchen this time. <laughs> so Greg is grabbing some, some saw. Greg is grabbing some saws or a saw to cut up this wood.
Yeah. Is it going in straight though? A little off. It's totally off, actually. It's off this way and it's off and it's off this way. How do I drill a straight hole in here? I can I can drill another one. It's no big deal. Yeah, I gotta stop. Yeah. What do you think? Looks good. I'm still gonna stain it to match the window trim and the room trim if we go with stained room trim, but looks good. Finally have a place to put my three cookbooks. And it really ties it in yeah. with the, with the uh, tile. And there's a taste of Mexico for my grandma too, the pink owl. Yay. <laughs> it's too big. No, it's not. It is. Mm -mm. Aren't you impressed with me? about now are you impressed with me <laughs> you fit <laughs> that was not the sharp we needed. Oh. <laughs> not sure what to do with this. So we have this corner piece here that we put on. But if we put it down in that one little spot, there's gonna be a cut edge because it's gonna be exposed right there. So I don't know what we're supposed to do about that. We're gonna try cutting one of these pieces and see what it looks like. But I am planning on painting this and around the back, just a solid color so it's not so orange. <laughs> Too much orange in here. I don't know how that happened. Who picked these colors? So what do you think of your tiles? It's growing on me. Me too. Now it's been a few days. It's. It's actually really nice when you come from outside and you're like, oh, it's a finished kitchen. We were borderline upset when we finished putting the grout in because this is not what we had in mind. Yeah. But I think, I think it looks nice. And it's really, it really is growing on, on us, especially with the little floating shelf and it's, it's growing on us, so. Yeah, I would say it's like, it's not a, what's the word? It's kind of like an out there kitchen or like bold. It's bold. 
It's not yeah. just your regular old white and gray kitchen. <laughs> it's bold-ish. I mean, it's, yeah. I think it's a good little flair for what we need in the house because everything's pretty neutral in here. And it, it is, a, it's still, it's not that bold. This could be like purple tiles of green grout, but um, we're happy with it. Bottom line. 